I think that the whole idea of a cheese board has gotten a bit of a bad rap, but you know, in truth, you can make it as healthy as you want. So of course, I'm all down with lots of fruits and veggies and nuts and all those healthy components as well. So I'm gonna show you how to put all that together in a really beautiful platter that's gonna look really impressive, but also be super, super healthy as well. Here's a quick list of everything you'll need. So there's a lot going on here. We have fruits, we have vegetables, we have nuts, we have seeds, we have crackers and cheese, etc. One thing that I do is I always start with anchoring my board with my cheeses. So I have my own preferences. Um, some of the cheeses that I love that we've picked up, most of them are local. We have this beautiful Salt Spring Island cheese. It's uh, semi-soft. Um, we have a, there's a brie here, which is a quite similar in texture. And again, uh, we're moving from soft to hard. So I have a smoked applewood cheddar, and this is a manchego, another nice one if you're looking for a nice firm cheese is a piave. Uh, it's a beautiful Italian cheese that is unbelievable. So I also have added on a couple of my favorite vegan cheeses. Now we don't have to think all or nothing here, but you do wanna consider who's coming over and their preferences. So we're gonna work our board. We're gonna start with the cheeses and I'm gonna work in a clockwise fashion. We're gonna go from softest cheese over to the hardest cheese or the most firm cheese. And then we're gonna layer in these components. All right, there is a lot going on on this table. So it's hard to know where to start. I like to start tackling the bigger things first. Um, they're gonna take up a larger space on the board, so I think it makes more sense to get those on the board first, and then we can fill in those little gaps with all those other things. So I have, for my bigger items, I have these gorgeous rainbow carrots. They're local, they're stunning, they're gonna look great, but they're gonna need some space. So I'm gonna get those on the table first, and then I'm also gonna add on the board my bigger clusters of grapes, and probably anything that I'm keeping in the bowls. Um, some things I keep in the bowl, some things I just want to literally lay out on the board and have them occupy whatever space is left. We're going for different layers of texture, different layers of color, and we want this looking full. Right, my board is almost done. I have a few little tiny gaps that I'm gonna fill in with the fresh rosemary. I had a few extra things that I wasn't sure if they'd fit. Some of them didn't, but that's okay. All right, so I've cleaned everything up. It looks great. I've already poured myself a glass of wine, so I'm ready for my guests. In fact, I like to do this so that it's ready about a half an hour before my guests march through the door so that I can relax, have a sip of wine, and then when they come in the door, all I need to do is enjoy their company. So you guys, if you're looking for more healthy, entertaining ideas, head over to freshnutrition.com. I've got lots of ideas there. And if you like this video, please go down to the bottom, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much.